Good morning. In this video, we will be discussing two problems on buoyancy and flotation, which comes under module 2 of the course CET 203 Fluid Mechanics and Hydraulics. So here we have the first question. This is asked in the university examination conducted in December 2019. A solid cylinder of diameter 3 meters has a height of 2 meters. Find the metacentric height of the cylinder when it is floating in water with its vertical axis. The specific gravity of the cylinder is points. State whether the body is stable or not. So in this question, the given data are the dimensions of this uh, solid cylinder. Uh, the diameter is 3 meters and height is 2 meters and it is floating in water with its vertical axis. So here you have the figure. The height is 2 meters and the diameter is 3 meters. Diameter is shown in the plan and the height is shown in the elevation. Okay, So this is the elevation of the body. This is the water level. And if you look from the top, you can see the circle. And that view is drawn over here. This is the plan. So diameter is 3 meters. Okay, And it is floating in uh, the water. The specific gravity of this body is 0.6. We have to find the metacentric height gm and we have to state whether the body is stable or not. So in order to say whether the stay, uh, body is stable or not we have to look at the value of metacentric height. If it is positive then the body is stable. If it is negative then it is not stable. Okay let us write the given data. Diameter D is equal to 3 meters, height H is equal to 2 meters, specific gravity of the material is 0.6. So this is our equation for finding metacentric height Gm is equal to 1 by, sorry, I by V bar minus Bg. Bg is the distance between center of buoyancy and center of gravity. I is the moment of inertia of the body at the water level. Okay, so here you have the yy axis. You can see in the plan you have the yy axis and i is the moment of inertia of the shape of the body at the water level about this yy axis. And v bar is the volume of body which is immersed in water. So here you have the water level. What is the volume of body under this level? It is denoted by v bar. So for that, for finding V bar, we need to find out what is the depth of immersion or what is the depth of the body under water. It can be found out using the formula of specific gravity into total height of the cylinder. Specific gravity is 0 0.6, height is 2. So 0 0.6 into 2 meters, you will be getting 1.2 meters. So here from the water level to the bottom of the body, the height is 1.2 meters. Then distance of center of buoyancy B to A. A is a reference point. A is taken uh, as a reference point and is at the bottom of the body. So from the bottom of the body to center of buoyancy, what is the distance? It is denoted by AB. And in the previous step, we got that depth of immersion is 1.2. That is from this point to A, the height, the distance is 1.2. So, B will be at the center of this distance. So, AB is equal to 1 by 2 by 2. That is 0 0.6 meters. So, from A to center of buoyancy, the distance is 1.2 by 2. That is 0 0.6 meters. Okay. Now, is distance of center of gravity to A. So, we are taking this A as a reference point. So, from A to the center of gravity G, what is the distance? We know that total height of the cylinder is 2. So, Cg will be at the center of this total height, right? So, from A to G, the distance will be 2 by 2. That is 1 meters. Okay. So, from the dimension, from the figure, you can say that Bg is equal to Ag minus Ab. See, from this figure, you can say that A, Sorry, uh, BG, the small distance is equal to AG minus AB. So, we have the value of AG and AB. So, you can easily find out what is BG. BG is uh, required to find out GM. Okay, so BG is equal to 1 minus 0.6. That is 
0.4. So, the, in this equation, Bg value is equal to 0.4. We got the value of Bg. Okay. Now, Bg is 0.4 from, from the previous slide. Now, I. I is equal to moment of inertia of the plan of the body about y y axis see y y axis is this axis okay so here you have a circle so the formula for moment of inertia of a circle is pi d raised to 4 by 64 so diameter is d substituting the value of d as 3 you'll be getting the moment of inertia i as 3.976 meter raised to 4 okay now you have the volume of cylinder in water we know the depth of immersion. Depth of immersion is already found out in the previous slide. So, it can be found out using area into depth of cylinder in water. What is the area, cross-sectional area of the cylinder? It is pi d square by 4. And depth of cylinder in water is previously known. So, when you substitute the values, you will be getting the answer. Of uh, You will be getting the value of p bar. Okay. So, it is obtained as 8.482 meter cube. This is the volume of cylinder in water. Volume is found out by cross-sectional area into depth of immersion. Now, we have this formula. We can apply all the values. We can substitute all the values in this formula and find out GM. So, substituting the values. Value of I is substituted. Value of V bar is substituted. Value of BG is substituted. And you will be getting... The value of gm as 0 0.069 meters so this is the metacentric height of the body okay now we have to state whether the body is stable or not for that you have to look at the sign of gm value if it is positive it is stable if it is negative it is unstable so here the value obtained is positive therefore the body is stable Okay, so this is how you solve this type of problem. Now, we'll discuss another problem. Here, this is the second problem. A ship 60 meter long and 10 meter wide displaces 10, sorry, displaces 15,000 kilo newton of water. A weight of 200 kilonewton is displaced across the deck through a distance of 5 meters and the ship is tilted through 4.5 degrees. The moment of inertia of the ship about the fore and after axis is 80% of the circumscribing rectangle. The center of buoyancy is 2 meters below the water surface. Determine the metacentric height and the position of center of gravity of the ship. Take specific gravity of the water as 1.03. So, this question was asked in the K2 University exam in May 2019. So, we will first um, find out or write the given data. Length of the ship is given L is equal to 60 meters. Breadth of the ship B is equal to 10 meters. And the weight W is the weight of the water displaced by the ship and it is given as 15,000 kilonewton. Then a weight is moved across the deck. See here, a weight of 200 kilonewton is moved across the deck. So that movable weight or moved weight is equal to W1 is equal to 200 kilonewton. And the distance through which it is moved is 5 meters. See, from the given data, we can identify which formula is to be used. We have studied two formulas for finding the GM value. One is based on the analytical derivation and the other is based on experimental method. So, this one is based on the experimental equation. Okay, the equation derived from the experimental method. So, in this, um, we can identify the equation from the given data. In this question, the weight, mode, the distance through which it was moved, etc. is given. But in the previous question, these data were missing. So, you can easily find out or identify the equation to be used from the given data. Okay. So, um, now, uh, the next data is the ship is tilted through 4.5 degrees. So, angle through which ship is tilted, theta is equal to 4.5 degrees. Then, the moment of inertia of the ship about 
the fore and aft axis is 80 percentage of the circumscribing rectangle. So here we can see the figure. This is the shape of the ship at the water level. Okay, so at the water level, if we just cut the ship and look from the top, we can see this shape. This is the shape of the ship. And consider the circumscribing rectangle. See here, you can see a rectangle in the dotted lines. So that is the circumscribing rectangle. Now the dimensions of this rectangle will be 60 meter by 10 meters. And YY axis is also marked. Okay, so moment of inertia of the ship at water line is given by 80 percentage of moment of inertia of circumscribing rectangle it is given in the question so what is the moment of inertia of a rectangle the equation is bd cube by 12 and about if we are taking about y y axis it is 60 into 10 cube by 12 so we have to take 80 percentage of that for finding the moment of inertia of the ship at water line so 80 percentage of bd cube by 12 the value will be 4000 meter raised to 4 okay and it is given that the center of buoyancy is two meters below the water surface so that is also written center of buoyancy is two meters below the water surface we have to find the metacentric height gm and position of center of gravity of the ship so after finding the gm we can find out the position of center of gravity okay so we have to Choose the equation. So here you have the equation of GM as W1x by W tan theta. W1 is a small weight which is moved across the deck. X is the distance through which that small weight is moved. Capital W is the weight of water displaced by the ship. And theta is the angle of tilt so substituting those values you'll be getting the value of gm as or metacentric height as 0.847 meters okay so gm is this value okay now we need to find out the position of center of gravity center of gravity is denoted by letter g so we have to find out what is the depth of g from the water surface so we can use the other equation for gm for finding the position of g so we got gm from by using this equation now we are going to find out the position of center of gravity using the second equation of gm okay now in that in this equation gm value is known okay we can find we have already found out i value 4000 meter raised to 4 that value is already known now we need if we can find out v bar we can find out the value bg from bg you can get an idea about the position of g so now we are going to try and uh, try to find out v bar v bar is volume of ship in water so we can write that as weight of the ship by weight density of water weight of the ship is the weight of the water displaced by the ship it is 15000 kilonewton so i have converted that into newton by Weight density of water, weight density is denoted by small w and small w is equal to rho g. Okay. So here specific gravity of the water in which the ship is floating is given as 1.03. Okay. And the density of pure water is so uh, in order to obtain the density of the water in which the ship is floating I have multiplied this given specific gravity with the density of pure water 1000 okay so 1.03 into 1000 will give you the density of the water in which the ship is floating okay now weight density of water so this is the density of the water in which the ship is floating weight density is equal to density into g mass density rho into g okay so g is 9.81 so you'll be getting the v bar volume of ship in water as 
1484.52 meter cube. So in this equation, we got the value of gm, we got the value of i, we got the value of v bar. We can easily find out vg. So substituting these values in the equation and vg values obtained as 1.847 meters okay so in this figure uh, you can see the water line this is the water line and in the question it is said that center of buoyancy is two meters below the water line so here you have the water line here you have point b from b to the water line it is two meters okay now from this equation we got that bg value from point b to g the value is the distance is 1.847 okay so, what is the depth of G from water line? It is 2 minus 1.847. 2 minus 1.847 is 0 0.153 meters. So, the depth of G below water surface, this distance is given by 0 0.153 meters. Okay. Now, we have solved for the metacentric height and the position of G. So this is how you do these problems. Thank you.